I used to work at CERN on the, on the theory side, and I was recently at CERN to see the LHC, the Large Hadron Collider, which is this very big machine that's being, being built there, and it's very impressive to see it. It's being slightly oversold in terms of uh, public relations. They're saying that it'll show us the beginnings of the universe, the origin of the universe. It'll take us further towards the, the origin of the universe, but we won't get anywhere near the, how things actually began. Very worthwhile and interesting things, one way or another, will come out of, out of the um, machine. But it's uh, not quite as fundamental as, uh, as its uh, publicity people are, are trying to persuade us, I think. I think we should use all the rational resources we have at our disposal to understand the world as completely and as deeply as possible. Sometimes we will encounter things that are so mysterious are beyond our finite human powers to encounter. But we'll only determine that by trying to uh, push rational argument as far as we can. So I'm entirely in favour of all forms of rational exp exploration of the world. Uh, but we should also be realistic about what the results of those investigations are going to be. I mean, at the moment, there's a great claim that science is just about to explain human consciousness. The last frontier, people say, the heroic armies of science are just about to cross. That's absolutely untrue, it seems to me. Neuroscience is making very important and interesting developments. But there's a vast yawning gap between talking about <clears throat> the neural processes that go on inside here with the simplest mental experience of seeing red or feeling hungry. And we just don't know how to bridge that gap. And we won't make progress by pretending that it isn't there.